White Zapote, agroplants.org, also known as Casimera edilus. So this tree, it's perennial evergreen and grow for the edible fruits. Uh, also can use for ornamental plant. Uh, it's beautiful tree with uh, beautiful leaves, but make a lot of dirt, so sig twice. Can grow in variety of climate, tropical, subtropical, or Mediterranean. If you would like to grow it, there is a link below or link in the right top side. If you purchase, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. It's really, really helped me to create more videos. So, it can grow in hard in a zone of 10 plus, a better 10B, but can survive 10A. But when the tree is young, a better to protect it over the winter. And if there is really, really heavy snows, snow, I uh, need to consider to protect it a little bit more. Uh, the leaves are uh, oval, uh, elliptic, uh, three to five leaves connected together in groups. And the flowers are white, small, uh, uh, with green. Uh, the fruits are green to yellow, it depends the cultivar and depend also the amount of sun that the fruits get. Uh, the shape is round, taste of the fruit remind, uh, I don't know, anona with imagination and uh, sweet avocado in some ways. I don't know, at least this is what I feel, but uh, there is a lot of argument about what kind of taste it's remind. I think it's a good fruit, very, very tasty, uh, but with some problems. Uh, so this tree requires a few things, better to keep it small, well-drained soil and before blooming season better to add fertilizer, uh, prune once a year and cover the tree with a net, especially uh, against fruit flies and other kind of uh, pests. You can start to grow it by seeds, plant or uh, cutting. By the way, uh, there is a, a video of how to grow sapote, uh, white sapote from seeds. So it's a different video, check it. So if you want uh, to grow it, you need to graft it. It's really, really important. There is different kind of fruits that you can get, like the size of the fruits, uh, the size of the seeds can be really, really big. A lack of seeds, apparently there is some cultivars that are without seeds, doesn't mean that they are better, uh, but it's easier to use it for other things like uh, you don't need to work to take the seeds off, so it's really really nice, like uh, you can make from this easier ice cream or other thing, a uh, sweeter, less sweet, uh, and different harvest season. And this is and the last thing that it's really really important. There are some cultivars that you can harvest uh, when they are not fully ripened. And why this is important? Because uh, this fruit, if it uh, have some problem to fully ripen, depends the cultivar. Some it's okay, but at some are horrible, and they are ripen. You need to pick them up like one day or two before you eat them. And this is not give you a lot of uh, possibility, especially when it's ready, it's like in one one second it's like on the floor. So this is a problem. You always need to pick it up a little bit before. Uh, okay, so difficult f and problem with this tree. Um, fruit attack easily by fruit flies. And the color of the fruits uh, is yellow green. And sometimes it's really hard to know when to pick up the fruits because you need to touch each one of them. This is why I highly recommend uh, to protect, uh, to keep the tree small so that you can check the fruits. Another thing, uh, the fruits are very uh, soft skin and when they, they are ready, they, if, they, if you touch something, they are smash. And this is a major problem that they are smash on the floor or even, you know, you want to pick it up and you just fall on your hand and it's, it can be smashed. In your hand you know without to do nothing uh, two centimeters like one inch it's fall and can be smash uh, this is also because I really like it uh, when they are really really fully ready and this is something that at least for me it's really important uh, planting season can be a, 
spring in hardness zone of 10A, spring to summer in hardness zone of 10B, spring to autumn in hardness zone of 11, and hardness zone of 12 all the year. A major pest are ants and aphids, and this is a little bit headache. A pruning season after the fruit before the winter. Uh, so pruning, it's really important to open the tree for light. If not, the, the fruits won't be... Uh, actually, when they are in direct sun, the fruits, the main problem is that they become yellow. So you don't know when they are ready or not. But inside the fruit, uh, they need to get... Uh, they get enough light, but if they get enough light, they, they, you see that they are ready because they become yellow. The height of the tree can be from 5 to 8. Uh, it means 16 to 26 feet. Uh, they said keep it smaller, it will bear fruit in 3 meters, it will bear fruit very well, a lot of fruits. Um, except this, the right, uh, in the right condition it will be medium speed growing and require average amount of water. Increase a little bit the amount of water in the fruit season, it's important for the fruits. Light condition, full sun. And uh, you can grow it in a container, but really, really not re uh, recommend. You must graft the tree if you want to get fruit ever. And uh, you need at least 50 liter. 50 liter will be really, really small. Uh, maybe 75 to 100 liters will be much better. And you, the main problem with big container, you need to switch part of the soil every few years. Put fertilizer, organic material, and check that there is good drainage of the soil. It's really important. If not, check the holes, uh, put a stick in the hole, and try to release the water that they stuck. Uh, so put bottom for the tree will be a little bit problem, but it's also it's a, a good indicate that the water flow out of the pot, the container. Uh, blooming information, uh, colder the area will be, like uh, hardness zone of 10, probably will bloom in the late spring, uh, but outside of the hard hardness zone of 10A, let's say 10B+, plus, can bloom several uh, times a year, depends the cultivar, and of course hotter the area will be, will be more times that the plant will, uh, will bloom. Uh, for example, here in hardness zone of uh, 10B, not every cultivar, but some cultivars, uh, actually they bloom like two to three times a year. Depends on winter, if it's really cold, um, really hard, it's the amount of days that are cold, you know. It's not enough that it's arrived to hardness zone of 10B, but if we have here like few, like I don't know, like five to ten days of really really cold days and all the winters are like 15 to 20 degree and even 30 degree can be in the winter so it's maybe hard in a zone of 10b but it can actually uh, bear fruit three times a year so this is important so you get fruit three times a year but this is rare usually it's in a hard in a zone of 10b it's twice a year a major pest are aphids ants, uh, for the fruits of course, aphids, ants, uh, birds, Mediterranean flight fruit and you can do it from this ice cream, alcohol, eat it raw, uh, a little trick in order to to bake, make it better, uh, you can, uh, not to make it better, to harvest it a little bit before and make it ready, uh, this is my trick and I done it a few times, it's to put it in the oven uh, I'm apologize, but I don't really remember right now what is the temperature, but no need to be too much high, like maybe 50 or 50, you should try, it also depends on cultivars, each cultivars I saw it's different, but a 50 degree, if I'm not mis mistaken, or try even a, a 45 in the beginning, depends on the cultivar and how much this is ready, you will, something that you will get over the time, also possible to do it with microwave, I less like it, so... It's not something that I will recommend to do, but be aware that this, this is something that it's possible. And you need to know that to eat it without the seeds and without the peel, uh, I don't know if the peel is not edible, but it's unpleasant to eat it. 
I don't know, some support I understood, white support I understood that it's much better. Usually it's take between three to five years uh, to bear fruits, but uh, if you start from seeds, it uh, can take above seven years. So this is a major problem uh, and depends on the cultivar. It's better to graft it, as I said before, except this, it's a good fruit, very, very sweet, uh, pleasant to eat, but uh, harvesting, it's a headache. Unless you harvest less uh, ripen, and this is much easier, and then you can eat it. Uh, again, because I like them very, very sweet. And be aware that if it's like uh, you cut, you harvest it too much uh, soft, the taste will be a little bit weird. Uh, like, as I said, sweet avocado. And not in a good way, in really, really bad way. So it's something that you need to try again taste it's a, this is my opinion about the avocado sweet avocado but this is what this is remind me so if you have another idea you are welcome to comment below what is this fruit taste remind you and i highly recommend to taste it before you grow it that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.